you will be participating in a homeroom period, uh, not this Friday, the following Friday, and we will be introducing the senior local scholarship application form to you at that point. We'll give you specific directions on it, um, and then we will also be emailing the senior English teachers, and you will be given an opportunity to work on completing the application during your English classes within the next couple of weeks. The application is actually due on March 4th, so it gives you just about a month to do a really, really good job on the application. There are many, many donors, and we are very grateful for those donors who come to participate in this um, and share their funds with our students. Um, some examples include um, the Rotary Clubs, um, the uh, Chambers, uh, the Fire Departments, the Veteran of Foreign Wars, the Booster Clubs, the local PTAs, um, there are quite a few memorial scholarships for some staff members and students um, who have unfortunately passed away. Uh, there are many other local and civic organizations that uh, are very generous and we are very appreciative of their funds. Okay, right now, the ones we were just speaking about are the local scholarships, and you're going to apply for that, like I said, in your English classes, and it's going to be due on March 4th, and we cannot encourage you strongly enough to do a nice job on that application. There is an essay that you can write, and you need to take the time to be neat and to be thoughtful, because people aren't going to want to give their money to you if you're not going to be able to spend your time. Um, there are lots of other scholarships that you should be doing right now, and all of you have a Naviance account. So so you go on your Naviance account and where you go to colleges I'm applying to, there's a list that says scholarship list. Those are all our local, other local scholarships that you can apply for outside of the local scholarship application we're going to tell you about next week. So you need to be on there each and every day. Every day we add new scholarships and you click on them and you can, you can apply and get us if whatever information we need, um, we, can, we can support you with that as well. But you need to get on there and get those applications filled out. You should apply for as many scholarships as you can. It's like a job, okay? You have to get out there and you've got to work and then you make some money. A few years ago, we had one student that made $14,000. There's so many scholarship search engines out there as well, aside from what we even have on Naviance, um, Fast Web. There's so many different ones out there. If you put the time in, you're going to make the money. Uh, but you have, to, you have to be in it to win it, right? So you've got to really work at that. And, um, and you certainly can make some, make some money. Every, every little bit helps. Okay, we can't encourage you to enough, okay, many, many, many times each year, lots and lots of scholarships go unclaimed. And there, there are scholarships out there maybe because you're left-handed, okay? There's so many different scholarships. It's just so hard to explain them all um, in this short amount of time. So get on those websites, get on Naviance, make sure you fill out that local scholarship, take advantage of what's out there. College is not cheap. No matter where you go, college is not cheap. Um, school's not cheap, so you need to get out there, and every little penny helps. Some of you say, well, why should I take the time to apply for this $200 scholarship? Because it can buy you a book, okay? Every little bit helps. So get out there, be neat, be thoughtful, don't cross out, follow the directions if they want a transcript, if they need a letter of recommendation, follow the directions. If you can't follow the directions, if you can't be neat, why would organizations want to give you their money? And we are very grateful to all these organizations um, that do support our students each and every day. Thank you.